Hey guys, so we're finally in October and with that comes spooky season. So for this special occasion, I wanted to start a new series in which I will be trying various creepy stuff. So to start off, I wanted to explore and try the famous Bloody Mary ritual. So I've been fascinated by this game the moment I saw it on YouTube and I think it'll be really cool trying it by myself. So without further ado, let's get into it. So before we start actually doing the ritual, I wanted to see the history behind it. The origins of it aren't that clear but there are a few theories. The most popular one being that Bloody Mary is actually the spirit of Mary I of England. Mary I was Queen of England and Ireland from July 1553 until her death on November 7th. 17, 1558. During her reign, she tried to undo the English Reformation started by her father Henry VIII, which is when the Church of England broke away from the authority of the Pope and the Roman Catholic Church. In the process, she killed hundreds of Protestants who opposed her, thus giving her the famous nickname Bloody Mary. Now that we know where the ritual came from, let's look at the rules. So the rules of this ritual are pretty straightforward. 1. Go in a dark room with a mirror in it. I'll be using my bathroom. 2. Light a candle and place it near the mirror. I think this is because candles are supposed to attract spirit, but I'm mainly using this for lighting. 3. Chant the name Bloody Mary three times. After you've done all that, you should apparently see a face, which is supposedly Bloody Mary's, morph behind you and I guess kill you or scratch you, I'm not really sure. And that's it. As I've said, Pretty straightforward for a ritual that apparently summons a demon. Now that we went through everything, let's try the ritual. So, <laughs> we're in my bathroom with the mirror. I stole my sister's candle and I have the lighter and I am freaking out. So I guess we'll just get started. My phone is recording the audio, so I'm sorry if it sounds terrible, but that's all I can do. First, I want to light the candle because I am not sitting here in the dark without... Okay, this is terrifying. Um, let's just go for it. Um, I'm genuinely terrified. Okay. <sighs> Ready? Let's go. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Am I dead? <laughs> I'm shaking. That moved. You cannot tell me that did not move. <laughs> I'm chic. I'm chic. <laughs> um, Bloody Mary, you suck. Nothing. Okay. <sighs> that was terrifying. But I don't think anything happened. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm good. So, there you have it. Nothing really happened, but I guess the candle moving was a bit weird. It was obviously me accidentally blowing on the candle or moving my hands too much. But this proves my point. Anything weird that happens during the game will be, to some people, proof that these things are real. Even though, if you really think about it, the game is designed to be played at night, when you're more tired and so more likely to see or hear something that isn't actually there. Plus, you're supposed to close the light and chant a supposed demon name three times. So it already makes you uneasy and nervous before you even do it. And we all know that when we're scared, we react to things a lot more dramatically. Kind of like I did with the candle. You cannot tell me that did not move. But yeah. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Tell me in the comments what you think about this series. I really hope to continue it because it was really fun doing it. Anyways, I'm out. See ya.